Hello everybody, welcome, welcome to a brand new Let's Play series in Hearts of Iron 4, Kaiserreich. Today, we're going to play against the Commune of France. So, the Commune of France. The Third Republic ended the way it began, defeat by German arms and facing Communist Revolution at home. In November of 1919, a revolutionary general strike was called by the CGT, paralyzing the country and causing the downfall of the bourgeois government. The party of order was not strong enough to put an end to the unrest, and in subsequent months the French establishment was forced out of France by a coalition of leftist forces, in a brief but brutal civil war. For the past 15 years, the self-styled commune of France has been united behind a common platform of syndicalist socialist consensus, headed by the ruling Committee de Salut Public. However, by 1936, the consensus has reached an order to uh, rebuild the shattered country and defend the fruits of revolution from foreign menaces uh, is being deemed an increasingly outdated by many critics. And there are growing calls for more radical policies. France is increasingly confident in her security and her mission, but the French Revolution uh, tradition is desperate, and it is unclear precisely which ideological strands shall become dominant in the years to come. Okay. So is it shift click? I always... Oh. Is it shift click to select all units? Hey, there we go. So how many units do we actually start off with? We have 42 divisions, which is honestly not too, too bad. For our first national focus, let's... I guess we'll go with the roads to war, because we cannot do you quite yet. Actually, no, direction of the economy. 35 days, done. So let's get our two uh, generals. Let's throw them underneath a field marshal. Gamlin, congratulations. And we'll go with you. And then we'll throw in uh, Tukeski here. I'm going to assign you to the border with, um, just the border with Germany for now. And then for Orange Army, we're going to have you on the border with Belgium. I think that seems fairly all right. Let's go up to speed five. So right now, our economy, we have 66 factories, which honestly, I would say is pretty good. 22 military, 9 uh, naval dockyards, and 35 civilian. Seems pretty good to me. And for our tech, we go for research. We're going to go for Pucks Efficiency. Give me some construction. And I guess after, with you... You know what? Give me basic small airframe. And which designer do we want? Because again, this is one of the new Arms Against Tyranny mechanics. What do we want? Bonuses, Agility, Speed, Air Attack. Equip Variants. All small and carrier planes. Your fighter... Okay. Medium. So what, what I guess... Basically, we're looking between these two, right? Ground attack, naval attack, air attack, and air defense plus two. Or more speed, more agility. Hmm, which, I don't actually know which of the two we want. Let's go with the agility and speed. Sounds good to me. For civilian, or for our economy, let's go with a handful of factories in Paris. And then a handful of um, factories near Lyon as well. I, I just gotta move some wires, sorry. And the Algerian regime, French not in a faction. So let's let's look at our international market. Right now, I think we actually have to give this a day. So right now, our markets, we can buy and sell weapons. We're not going to do that too too much, probably at least to begin with. But for our market access, we basically can trade with any other socialist nation. Everyone else, if we look at our embargo list, everyone else kind of hates us. But at the same time, we also hate everybody else. So it's kind of a give and take relationship there, depending on how you want to look at this. Okay, so this is for the left Kuomintang. We don't have to worry about that too much. Even then, I don't think the left KMT can actually join up with the Internationale. So we're not going to give them any kind of recognition that they don't need, right? It, it doesn't seem necessary. Uh, we are playing, you might notice we are playing with a different graphics mod. That's because... The old graphics mod I was using completely broke in the uh, new patch, so we had to find a new uh, alternative. Hopefully this one's okay. Hopefully people like this one well enough. Okay, so 35 days. What do we want? I'm always a big fan of... Usually the war economy and agriculture is usually pretty good. We get some civilian factories in here, we get a bunch of military factories. 10% cheaper rifles. We're, yeah, we're probably going to go for war economy. I think it's always the best. I mean, you go cooperatives, you do get some civilian here. You're basically ass. Bon bomb vulnerability. Negative 15% consumer goods, so actually, it's also pretty good. Supply consumption minus 10%. 10% cheaper guns. This doesn't matter. No matter. Everyone can do this. 
You know what? That negative 15% consumer goods, actually. We might actually go cooperatives. We might just go anarchist here. The fall of Marseille a pivot. Despite the successful organization of the Syndicalist Congress in May, the Pivot administration has been criticized for its lack of response to the crackdown on trade unions in Germany. Today, the opposition in the Bros General de Treville has agreed a vote of no confidence in Perret, uh, who has announced that the new elections will be brought forward to select a new committee. His duties will be temporarily assumed by the Committee de Salut Public until the last results come in. Negative tw I don't need stability. Negative 20? I'll take a negative 20. Okay, let's have you move your way towards the river. Brown Army will have you move your way towards the uh, Dutch border. And also, Moli and the Union of Britain has invited leader of the Solarians, George Vallas, to Birmingham to discuss a common ground between them and their ideologies. Vallas thanked him for his invite and sent off in the name of the internationalism. Uh, bring with him a guest of the Hungarian exile, Tibir Smili, and Miet Ruski, whose views are also much in line with Mosley's and Mussolini's. Have a safe flight. Okay. So it has been, I, I think it's about been about two months, give or take, since we last played Kaiser, right? I don't believe there's been a, I don't, there has not been a major update in that time. Okay. Clarify, uh, clarifying the communal army. Due to the presence of trade unions within the Communard Army, it has become overly politicized, creating tensions within the uh, guarantee of national integrity and the arm of the Syndicalist Revolution. This has resulted in the incumbent chief of staff, the Populist of War General Maurice Glamen, having to step down. The French Syndicalist military leaders, mostly Solarians, have uh, decided to ask their soldiers who they wish to lead the French army for uh, definitely dissolving the military trade unions. Tank proponent, high command, negative 2% stability. So, probably centralized high command. Let's actually take a look at our um, road to war communal off army. So, Travelese, Jacobin. Pro I mean, usually centralized high command. What do you actually give us? You are for max planning, land doctrine bonus, army experience. Okay, maybe you're actually not that good. Mass motorization is for the anarchists. Cheaper trucks is not bad. Officer initiative, army experience. Recovery rate, uh, division, inf infantry, division, attack, and defense is also quite, quite nice. And then for you, heavy tank, light tank design is cheaper, which, but that's not really like that good. And the only way we can take the tank bonuses is if we do the research grants. So we could get 10% cheaper tanks if we go for the Trevelis, but I think we're probably going to go Austro Initiative, just getting that 10%. Recovery rate, 10% attack, and defense or infantry. I think seems pretty good. So we're going to go for officer initiatives. I think it just seems like the best. Also, can I just say, I, I know I've said this probably in the uh, vanilla campaign as well. I'm always a big fan. Whenever um, wh whenever they add a new DLC and there's new music, I'm always a fan of it. Okay, due to its key purpose over external and internal security matters, the position of director of the committee, uh, the... Regiment Grandiat has recognized as one of the keys to supreme power of the Commune of France and is crucial to the destruction of its political rivals. It could be a terrible weapon in the hands of one of the extremist factions. So I think, again, I, we're probably good. I don't think you actually matter here. And by that, I mean, I don't believe that affects one of these listings. So that's us all the uh, positions uh, to the uh, militias. We get the Radical Socialist Party a little bit more popular. Because, again, I do think we want to go for um, the anarchist here. Internal security. Travelese Charles Rapport has uh, resigned from his post to, de uh, to a delegate for internal security to compete for the forward affairs post. Former chairman Marcel Privet, still hoping to reserve his political future, has managed to get endorsed by the Travelist wing and is now grappling uh, for the post with the stern Jackman Maurice to uh, Torres, Australian John Marie Clamis, and the anarchist Maurice Joss. Okay, stability. You're negative five percent stability. I mean, I. I I'm going to take the stability. We're going to get uh, more anarchist support here as well. Okay, Black Monday is hit. That's okay. Black Monday does not affect us. Okay, and one of you don't unlock quite... Yeah, actually, no, I can unlock affairs, then we can unlock cooperatives. Today's election seems to be uh, plus a bit on the commune, uh, the commune's economic policies in many recent years. Many visions for the future cynical economy, more or less concentrated industry and agriculture, uh, are in a competition. All of them are crucial for the uh, future struggle against Germany. Okay, let's go for the cooperatives. We're going to take you next. 56 days, we do get a bunch of military factories off of this. And then straight into getting that negative 50% consumer goods does seem incredible for us. Oh, and Russia's going to go socialist as well? Well, well, well. 
Okay, capitalist economies have collapsed, 15 political power will take. And with the final election day, one of the leading issues of the commune of France is raised, diplomacy, which carries a double task of spreading the revolution throughout the world and preparing for revenge against Germany. If the very existence of Syndicalist International is not endangered yet, the future theaters of the World Revolution will be defined today. Totalism, European Socialism. Let's just go, we'll go for some good old internationalism. And Russia. I'm going to immediately send you some volunteers, because then two divisions. Let's send in two motorized, I think that seems good. Do we have like a truck leader? I don't actually know what the, the truck commanders are actually called. You know, boat is moving in mountains. Good enough to me. Let's send our volunteers over to you. Fantastic. And we have an anarchist majority. The elections have finally given power to the anarchists, meaning that the French people have understood that the revolution has entered a new phase and that younger minds are needed to guide the nation. The most restricted government structures have been dismantled, heralding a new era of libertarian socialism throughout Europe. Okay. Okay. And Russian officers have left for Russia. So which means we're going to lose this commander, but that's okay. With the new Russian Revolution ongoing, the officers from the International that were exiles from Russia requested a transfer back to help their comrades. While it's a shame to see them go, their help will, uh, in the last few years have been greatly appreciated. Okay, well then, well, I guess we'll assign you into this position. What, how's our equipment looking? We have 2.5 thousand rifles, 61 artillery pieces. And you are 27 combat with... Can I throw in, like, a uh, recon company here? Or, like, a motorized recon company? I'm going to do that regardless. So let's throw you in here for now. Let's see if we can train up. Let's just say five infantry. Give me two cavalry. Two tanks. And five motorized. I think that seems fine for now. Let's have that slowly build up until the war actually begins. And what is our unit cap right now? 83? We, we have more than enough slots. Excellent. And what resource are we missing? We're negative two. We're, we are missing some rubber. So, you know what? Let's see if we can trade. Let's say with um, Brazil for now. I think me and Brazil could not necessarily be friends. But if Brazil goes for the Montevideo Treaty, then um, then there'll be a state of European affairs. And that's something I'm uh, very happy to see. The end of the chairmanship. As the anarchists have been swept in power during the last election of the commune and the revolutionary progresses, um, it has become obvious that the reform must be come from the high position as well. While previously the power of the chairman was not unlimited, having one person lead the commune is a, obviously a restrictive bourgeois concept. It has been the face of the ideas represented by the victorious anarchist, to reform a more communal uh, leadership style. Okay. We have so much steel and so much aluminum. Like just a wild amount. What are people selling? I'm just kind of curious. Britain is selling some trains. How many trains do we have, actually? We have 117. You're selling 10. And you're selling... You know what? Convoys might actually be worthwhile. Give me... I mean, how many convoys do we actually have as well? We have 300. Give me like a 10% factory boost. Throw 15 factories in here. It'll take two deliveries and that's okay. I think that is worthwhile for us. Because how many factories do we actually have for uh, construction here? Right now it's literally zero, but that's okay. We'll, we'll get some convoys out of this. And for our Russian volunteers. Well, where's your capital? It's in Etzrenburg, huh? Well, where also is the rail lines here, huh? I'm going to move you into this position. I think that seems okay. Get our units down south as quickly as we possibly can. Do I want to send volunteers to the left KMT? We could. And having an ally in China probably would be useful. How many volunteers could we send, theoretically? One. Do we have a tank? We do have a tank division. So let's send in a... Panzer leader, which I definitely know that there are some of them. Yes, armor leader here. Let's send in our tank. Because, I mean, the tank, there's, there should be, like, nobody in the early stages of the Chinese conflict that could actually withstand the pressures of a tank push. Yeah, let's get our trucks to get some more organization here. Okay, democracy in Australasia. 
Not a big deal to me. We can definitely push our way to Samara. Yes, push in immediately. Pull you back one. Have you move up to Samara as well. And Ecuador, okay. I, we don't care about Ecuador. So, four hour tank push. Because who are you actually at war with? You're at war with Anshing and an Anshing clique. So, I'm going to say I want you probably like right here. Sounds good. We can take Samara. That is like the only supply hub here in a, for a while. And I believe the uh, the socialists should win in Russia. Usually they're, they're guaranteed to win. So that's going to be nice for us. The Trim International. We were preparing for the Third International since 1927. Now we are nearly ready to hold the first conference right here on Monterey Hill in Paris. Built on the ruins of Sacre Coeur. For three days, the city will host delegates from over every socialist, syndicalist, and Bolshevik party from all across the world. We, the French, will take the floor first. Uh, that is if we are still planning on hosting the first Congress and continue to work with the Second International. Okay, so a lot of people will hate us. But the other socialist powers will be friendly with us, and I'm happy with that. I like having friends. Yet, yeah, I mean, our tank should... Oh, Nanshin Cleek's been killed? Okay, then we'll go take this city. Let's do something like this, I think sounds good for our uh, tank division here. We definitely don't want to get our tank to be encircled. Like, that obviously would be pretty bad. 82. I do want to take this city if we can. Germany bounds the foul. The Free uh, Workers Union Germany, or the Fescher Arbeit Union Deutschland, is an anarcho syndicalist trade union that has been operating in Germany since its creation in September of 1919. They have been free to operate, but the German government has now decided to arrest its leader and ban the organization. We're not going to clear war immediately, okay? Even though it would be kind of funny. I don't, I don't think it's uh, necessarily in our best interest. We're going we're gonna to wait until... Uh, well, I want to at least see if we can wait until Russia becomes socialist first. Okay, choosing the host city for the International Workers Olympiad. Let's, let's, you know what, Britain, congratulations, we can have it in Turin, or not Turin, have it in Birmingham. Okay, bring our tank back, Delhi, because I'm right, we're not going to read these events because we have read these events many, many, many times in the past. More stability, but everybody hates us. Didn't close up in Spain. Jack Reed. And what do we want to research next? Um, you actually have a bomb sites one? Okay. Is that new? That never, that absolutely never used to actually um, unlock anything. Unemployment in Latin America. We have our tank division here. I think I want you to move straight on Ching. And congratulations, women. You're going to be allowed to, uh, to support the revolutions. Okay, so we're going to take Anqing. Is Anqing even a core? It's not. And how close are you to capitulating? You're currently at 49%. Ask for support. Let's send military advisors to India. Because this says it's your capital, but it's not actually a core. Are you a core? You're a core. One, one, three, two. Are you a core as well? No, you're an occupied state. Let's move our tank back one province again. I don't want to get encircled in on Shing. I, I would obviously don't. I don't want that to happen. Okay, I still would like more manpower, but there's not too much we can really do about that. Support the Russians. We need 600 rifles, under support equipment, and 50 artillery. I'm sure we'll get them eventually. Workers unrest in the Rhineland. Workers in Western Germany are protesting against their oppressive government. This might be a chance to weaken our mortal enemy uh, if we are prepared to possible consequences for such a choice. You know what? We'll help them. Now, I'm pretty sure the AI is guaranteed to back down.
Okay, so you're worth like 50% of their victory points. Yeah, so Anqing is actually in a very, very, very important city here. Now again, I don't want to get encircled if I can avoid it. I have gotten encircled. So apparently I could not avoid it. Okay, but we can take on Qing. Well, we're not technically encircled because we're technically bordering the Qing government here. Yeah, we're, we're doing we're doing just fine. We're kind of doing just fine. But also some might say that we're doing not very well at all. And I think you're both correct on this. So I probably want to go limited conscription as soon as we can, and early mobilization as soon as we can as well. But what, what's... So you are... What well, you think is, you're like a 5% bonus. I mean, your construction speed bonus, which also is quite nice. Thing is, you're so shit. You are so bad. Construction speed, construction speed, infrastructure, civilian factories. A lot of resources and a little bit of oil wouldn't be too bad. And you know, let's actually form our research group now. 56 days it is a while, but I still think it's worthwhile. And the Kuomintang adds for aid. Since the National Revolution Army collapsed at the hands of the imperialist back Zili clique, we have certainly looked at the possibility of revolution in China with interest. China, while indeed not a capitalistic nation nor an industrial one, holds the potential for an anti-imperialist and socialist revolution, as evident by the role of the Chinese mass movement in the Northern Expedition. While Chinese socialists in the Kuomintang attempted to stage a bold but failed uprising in 1932, it would appear that the following collapse of the capitalist world order after Black Monday, um, the Chinese Kuomintang and the NRA have risen once more to break their chains. We have received an urgent commu uh, communique from our Chinese connections, such as Chairman Wang Jinwei and Ambassador Eugene Shen, for our nation to send over military arms and advisors to help the Kuomintang in their renewed revolutionary struggle. We can certainly support them, though given the distance of the conflict and our limited resources, we can either send them purely advisors or advisors with rifles. Alternatively, some of our government have argued that instead, we should only send them our thoughts and prayers. Well, let's send them advisors and guns, because we already have a tank in the area, so I think backing them would probably be helpful for us. But I will say that, at least right now, I think it's a pretty good time for us to end this episode, so if you enjoyed, thumbs up. Not enjoy, thumbs down. If you want to see more, subscribe, and goodbye.